Hey everybody, this is Giovanni from Spy Options Trading. Today is the 1st of October. Finally, it feels great to actually sit in front of the computer, watch the markets, and even trade them. But before I let you watch the trading video, today's trading video, I have an announcement. I am finally pulling the trigger on switching brokers. I've been with eOption.com for several years now. They've been great to me. There was a time in there where I wasn't getting filled where I thought I should be getting filled in, but other than that, They've been really, really good. Their commission uh, fees, their commission rates were, were really good. And that's why I stuck with them throughout the uh, years. Last year, I was looking at Tastyworks. And up until this year, 2018, they were charging their uh, commission fees were $1 per contract on the way in and no, um, basically no commission fees uh, to sell. But Tastyworks was actually better if you were trading um, seven contracts or less. This was pre 2018. And if you're trading more than seven contracts, that's when e option was more beneficial for you. For 2018, I didn't realize this until a couple weeks ago that they now, Tastyworks now caps your commission fees at $10. If you're trading more than 10 contracts, they can only charge you $10. So that means it doesn't matter if you're trading 20 contracts or 100 contracts, they're only gonna charge you $10. Now they still have to charge you 18 cents per contract, I believe. Um, I don't know if that's on the in or out, but regardless that 18 cents per contract, it isn't a fee, a commission fee for them. I think it has something to do with the clearing house or something of that nature. So before you actually um, switch over, if you don't have an account, or even if you have an account, call your representative, call them up and ask them about uh, the commission rates and fees and, and all the associated fees. I didn't trade SPY and I only traded one contract, guys. And I'm looking for something very particular, very specific. I've been doing a lot of back testing. I mentioned all of this in the uh, uh, today's trading video, but I'm reiterating it. I've been doing a lot of uh, research, a lot of back testing, and I'm trying to find something common, something that is common in all of the uh, good trades and all the uh, signals. Up until very recently, I've just been looking at SPY, and the strategy does work on SPY, obvious, obviously, but. I started opening my eyes up a little bit in Facebook and Apple and a few others, but mainly just Facebook, Apple, the Qs and Spy really. Um, but the strategy should work in no matter what, what you're trading, the underlying stock, the underlying security. So I'm looking for something very particular, very common uh, that will give me the best uh, opportunity to make a winning trade, make my 10% get out. I did notice uh, though that um, in the particular underlying stock that I uh, I traded, it, I made my money, but then it crashed down. So I don't know exactly what that means, whether I got lucky or not. Only time will tell it, guys. So thank you so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like and share my videos, it'll help me out tremendously. And comment down below in the comment section what you thought about the uh, video, about the trade, uh, what you made money on, what you lost money on, it'll help me out tremendously as well to help you guys out. Thank you so much everybody, I'll let you watch uh, today's trading video. Good morning everybody, today is the 1st of October. Just got to my computer, dropped off my son at school, and believe it or not, I am really liking Facebook today. Um, I'm doing something a little different. Um, seems like every day I'm doing something a little different. I'm looking for something very particular in, in my strategy. I am gonna go ahead and buy some Facebook call options. Let's see here. I'm, I'm gonna be very cautious. Instead of like just paper trading it, I'm actually gonna trade it with like one contract or two maybe. So we're four days out, we're trading at a 165. So let's go ahead and buy the, ooh wow, they're really expensive and compared to uh, spy options, but 165 call options, 247. Let's go ahead and put in my order. Alrighty, it looks like it got me in at 241. 241, got me in at 241. Facebook call options, looking right here. The 165 calls, 241. So 10%. I'm looking to sell at 265. 265. That's my target. Let's see where we go from here. It's going in our direction. 
They move so differently from spy options. Alrighty, it is looking like it's, oh, right there, just sold out, just sold out, just sold out right there, 265, 265, two, I already sold out, it actually went up, the ask went up to 267, yeah, there you go, awesome, wow, that is uh, very interesting. Cool, I only traded it with one contract, uh, didn't make much, I just, uh, wow, two seventies. I'm looking for something very specific in my trading strategy here. I have a lot more research. I need more data. I need more time in front of the computer watching my strategy. There was something that I, I noticed here uh, this morning on Facebook. And, and you guys know, uh, you, you, uh, you guys as my subscribers, you guys know that I don't tend to um to pull away from spy by as far as the option or excuse me as far as the strategy that i'm trying to use it hasn't been very effective on um, spy and i was doing I, i've done a lot of uh, research a lot of back testing uh, my strategy on like apple and facebook all the high beta stocks and there seems to be one thing in common and again I'm still doing a lot of research. Let me uh, let me gain more more experience. Let me gain more uh, more trades, more successful trades, and I'll uh, I'll let I'll, I'll let you guys know exactly what I'm looking for. But uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I did trade one contract, one contract, uh, the 165 call options that export expire in four days. I bought them at 241 and sold them at 265. So one contract by itself, that's $241. So it's not a whole lot. But uh, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell notification so you get notified the moment that I upload a video. Thank you so much, everybody. See you again tomorrow. Oh,